In this example, we're going to write a simple Windows console application that's going to look inside of a folder on our C drive and get a list of files from that folder. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to call a function from our main function. This function is simply going to be list files in directory. And we're going to pass a directory name to this function call. The at symbol, if you're not familiar with it, says to treat that string as a literal so we don't have to escape our backslashes because typically a backslash is used to escape the next character. You see that we have an error because it doesn't know about our function list files and directory. So next we're going to go outside of our main function and we're going to create a new static function called list files in directory. We're going to accept a parameter that's a string and we're going to give it a name. Now inside this function we're going to retrieve the list of files inside the directory and then we're going to print them out with a for each loop. So first thing we need to do is we're going to create an array to hold a list of all the files. Now in order to get a list of all the files inside of our directory we're going to need to add a using statement. We're going to specify using system.io. Inside of our function we're going to create an array of strings. We're going to call it file paths since there's more than one of them. It's going to be equal to directory and directory is a helper object inside of system.io. It has a static function called get files and this is going to get a list of all the files in the directory but we have to pass the directory path to get files so that it can get a list of all the files within that directory because at this point it doesn't know which one we're using. We have our working directory which is the parameter that was passed into our function and this command is going to fill up that array. We don't have to worry about the size of the array because it was created with the results of this function call so it automatically is sized correctly. Now what we need to do though is to go through each one of these elements inside of file paths and print it out. Easiest way to do that is simply with a for each loop. So I specify for each file path singular in file paths plural that's our array open and close the brace for what we're going to do inside of our for loop and then we're going to do a simple console dot write line console dot right line file path. You do want to make sure that you're using file path not file paths. Now if you're looking at this going how come file path is underlined in red this is because the for each needs you identify what type of variable file path is. This is a singular string so I'm just going to specify string and notice in just a second that it goes through and determines that there's no longer a syntax error. Now if we were to run this real quick it would run through but it would go away as soon as it was done. So what we're going to do is put a little statement console dot write line then we add a console dot read that will read in that enter key. We come up here and we click start. This is going to compile and you can see it quickly goes in and reads the contents of the C temp folder. Now that folder name can be replaced with anything just by changing the parameter that we pass into our function and it creates and displays a list of all the files. Now you will notice it gives the entire file path so it says C colon backslash temp backslash and then the file name. There are ways to get just the file but that isn't relevant to this short demo. Hope you found this useful and be able to get a list 
of all the files out of a specific folder or directory from a console app using C Sharp. Modifying this so it works on a web page or a GUI application is very trivial.